All right, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. I'm going to wrap the uh, interior pleather panels on this Tesla using Vivid's leather grain vinyl. Uh, there's a little damage here, nothing too crazy. Um, but yes, it's getting scuffed up, so the customer asked if we could probably wrap it, and we're gonna try it. So, I'm getting um, stuff on my hands because we got to make sure there's no armor all on any of this stuff or armor all or like any kind of silicone cleaning product that might be um, or might cause less adhesion so we have to be extremely thorough when we when we clean something like this on top of that on top of that uh, I guess mind shutting that off please thank you on top of that uh, I'll wait for a second Thank you. So on top of that, we want to make sure that we're kind of laying in to the recesses and stuff like that, as opposed to um, stretching into this recess. Obviously it's not going to stick very well, even though this is a bit of a higher tack film. This is it right here. So this is Vivid's Premium Plus leather grain vinyl, and it comes in several different colors. I've already done the driver's side. Uh, I do have all four to do, or all the way around. But yes, it is, it is a bit higher tack. Uh, probably not something you want to try to wrap your vehicle in, your whole vehicle in. But yes, make sure your surface is clean, make sure you have a heat gun ready, and make sure that you more or less follow the instructions that I'm going to provide you with today. All right? So, what we need, is, this is going to require a lot of heat also because we need the adhesive to activate. And by adding heat also, what, what it will do is, see? allow us to push the air out a little bit better. So look how much moves. So by adding, by using heat and doing this, it's kind of a trick for the most part. There isn't a much better way as opposed to, to do this as opposed to adding heat. But adding heat will help activate the adhesive. And as you can see, I'm laying in always and allow us to conform it properly. So we're going to find a line through this deepest part of the recess for the most part right here, which I just did. Again, I need to heat. I'm just going to leave the heat gun running so you'll probably hear it in the background the entire time. And obviously it doesn't stick very well, right? So that is one of the most major concerns. Now, this isn't something that I would warranty for the most part. I mean, if you do want to dress up your car a little bit, it might last it might last a month, it might last you a year, it might last you three months, might, who knows. So, but just something a little different. So when I stretch, I'm only stretching across. Should leave the heat gun running, like I said. I'm gonna be very diligent when it comes to getting the air out of this. So the reason why I did the driver's side is I wanted to do a trial run before I did, went and did a video on it. Um, no point in doing a video on something that doesn't work, but it does stick, in my opinion, well enough. Like I said, I do not know how long it's going to last for, but it does stick well enough. So I want to draw this a bit across and tack it in there because we need to get across this swell. So very little movement now, which is great. I'm gonna heat and bring it up, okay? We're not stretching, I'm just laying in, but I use the palm of my hand to help lay in. There's a bit of tension, so I wanna make sure that I'm alleviating that. I went over this panel with isopropyl probably four or five times because a cleaning pro silicone cleaning products are gonna to wanna to embed themselves 
in anything that's textured, all right? So there is a potential. There is a potential that it will leach. And by leach, I mean over time, saturate or uh, let out the silicone that may have been used to clean it. But with the right technique, I believe that this should last. You see me adding heat so that I can make sure that we're pressing all of the air out. So it gets a little sticky when you, like, the surface of it gets a little sticky when you add heat. Once we get the film into the recess, it's not too much of an issue after that. What I'm gonna do here, somewhere over here, is create a relief cut. See if that helps, not so much. It's not moving very much. We can see it's not moving on the edge. Cool. It means we have very little, if any, tension at all. So this, this part gets a little bit fun right here because it's going to start to want to bunch up because of the, what we've done with it. We've laid it in, so the vinyl's gonna get a little funny. So we need to just kind of glass it out slightly. I maybe put like a half percent stretch on it, nothing crazy. Very gentle, this requires a very gentle touch. Because as we heat it, it, this, it, it's very thin actually. And as we heat it, it becomes very flimsy. Somehow it looks like I'm touching stuff that has armor all on it still and I have no idea how I'm doing that. Again, I moved my body position because it just made more sense to stand above it. So again, the most amount of stretch I'm putting on this is maybe a couple of percent, okay? So now, when we get down here, what I want to do is come just below the rope, or the uh, stitching, sorry. When I come just below the stitching, then I can cut kind of on the stitching or just below the stitching. This is where it becomes very difficult because we don't want to cut into the interior. If this doesn't last, then we want them to be able to remove it, them to be able to remove it and go back to original. I'm gonna heat it up quite a bit. Especially around those edges. Let's 
super hot. We also have to be careful that we don't burn the interior, okay? Another thing to worry about. I think I'm pretty happy with what's going on as far as this line goes. The top one's easy. The top one's already done because we have a nice high energy surface, that plastic trim that goes along the top to, uh, to cut in between, okay? What it needs to do is cool slightly because we can't cut it when it's hot. And I need to find a good line. So I don't want to cut through the stitching. Make sure your blade is super sharp for this, guys, because all we're doing is gliding the blade on the surface. I'm going to do a relief cut here. Okay. This kind of helps me sort this little bit out down here. I need to add a little more heat. I'm going to go over with my heat gun what I just did. Do not and slide your finger down. We need, to, we need to push down on the film. So that's another thing. You cannot just heat it and run your finger down it because you will start bunching it up. We don't want that. It's a little cold there. Cool it down slightly. It's gonna get a little loud in here, sorry. I'm just gonna finish it off right here and I'll take care of that little by little in a second. What I'm gonna do here is do the top. So all I did was poke a hole, find the gap, and then run your blade in the gap. We just gotta go over it with some heat and finish up the ends and then this panel's done. So roughly an hour for this for this type of vehicle. This is a very challenging install, okay? Because we don't want to damage anything. On top of that, it's super important that the film doesn't have a lot of tension on it, which is difficult to do. so thoroughly too. There's no stretch on it. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is actually trim off some of this. Get way too much. So again, delicate. That's the key.
once I get to the corner I can then do that in a separate section coming down now as like a tab This corner can get very challenging right here. It's a little warm still, but I'm trying to move quickly. So I don't have to wait forever for you guys. can do here. Just stand on the other side. Want to get it around the edge at least a bit, but I don't. I can't cut here on the panel anymore because I'm not going to be in the recess anymore. So you might ask what will happen in the summertime when the car gets hot. I honestly have no idea. I just think that it's going to, uh, I mean, I'm adding a lot of heat right now, so it shouldn't be an issue, but I really don't know. around the edges. Stop. Wipe off my handprints from the arm roll that I've been picking up somehow. And there we have our more or less restored piece of door panel. Not sure how well you guys can see that. You can kind of see down there, I cut just in that little recess right along here. Got to tuck it in a little bit up there and a little bit more there. But that's pretty much it. And it generally is now scratch free. So, I don't know guys, let me know what you think about that. If you like it and you think you can do it on your car, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't, uh, then still give it a thumbs up because it's a different thing, something a little different to do. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Th thanks for watching. Take care.